but it is March 3rd, 2022. And I was looking around my living room and I was thinking about what other people would be doing in their afternoon. I think today is, what's today? What day is it? The day. What, not Thursday. Oh, it's a Thursday. What they would be doing on their Thursday afternoon, if they had the time of it, as much time available as I do, whereas I legitimately had made time for myself, where people would otherwise assume that I hadn't worked to get to have time available whereas like they'll be like oh well you're not you don't have any real income or anything like that you know or but they don't understand is that i actually created you know a a utility a software utility tool you know it's called frugal it's a basic search engine to start with you know i mean it's like an inventory system kind of like a um was uh, instead of going up to a courtesy desk at a physical location, you know, you'd be able to make a, you'd be able to submit your item if whether or not it's been already uploaded or replaced the image or the label for that item. And it's all voluntary, depending on um, the respect of the community of understanding how that could change at any time, you know. There is no lock. I, I didn't add a feature to lock the um, item from being changed. It could be changed at any time. So uh, the price could be changed. And on the user's end, they are able to enter the quantity for each item that they want to add to their like personal shopping list. So that if they had like a personal shopper in their house, they'd be able to or if they're working in a office somewhere, if let's say having um, this during this whole virus type situation, uh, instead of having everyone have to go down to get their lunch, if they would otherwise have to do it that method, they would instead of having to manually, you know, jot down what they want ordered for their lunch or whatever. I don't know exactly how, you know, some people who work in an office, they may have like already like, uh, you know, something like an Aubon pen, Aubon pen uh, type of uh, ordering type checklist uh, on a piece of paper that they would just mark off what they would like to have brought up from like, the cafeteria or something like that and they would send maybe one or two people down to pick up their items at lunch hour and then it would be delivered upstairs you know to their office but with frugal they're able to uh that there's i don't have it i didn't add a feature to save lists like uh on the person's device, like a cookie file. I didn't add a feature like that where they would have to just, every day that if they were to make a list, they would have to search it and then hit the checkbox and type in the quantity and they would see the updated price based on the way the community respected how that price was being changed. And it could, it could the, the accuracy of it is unpredictable currently, but eventually I would have a feature where it would determine based off of um, maybe people who maybe would click another button instead of a demand up or just the demand down buttons being available as uh, I would have something else like another button where they would say whether it's working within that the last 12 hours or so last 12 to 24 hours and then they would see on a chart of whether or not that the price would had a inaccurate report that was infrequent or something like that or if it was based on the and then there would be let's say a list of people who made those reports with their pen names and whether or not they are trustworthy people to believe you know so it's kind of like a guesstimation type system eventually 
But then I was thinking, you know, okay, here. So I made time. I I created something, right? And it's a good start to work with. It, it can. It, it doesn't have to be pinpoint perfect of like um, with all those other little doodad features that would maybe add later on. Someone else could even create an exterior utility possibly, you know, to be able, to, uh, let's say if they work at Heroku, right? The Where the, my frugal um, search engine web interface is uploaded and hosted at where, you know, they type in HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash uh frugal.herokuapp.com and then I always put the forward slash uh, pound sign or hashtag about and then um, it shows who the founder is and I, I that's me you know that's my name first and last name that I have on there so that's the way I have it but they and then they would just hit the the back button on the bottom left and it would bring them to the the main um, interface where they would type in or and make their entries or submissions into, let's say, whether or not the marketplace is already listed under their zip code. If not, it would, they would just they would just post it to it. But then, so let's say if someone was working at Heroku, where my software was uploaded to, where the general public can have access to it, there. The ones that work at Heroku would be able to, let's say, make their own um, statistic uh, utility to, to see those demand ups or demand downs. And based on sorting on um, if there is a differentiation in the IP addresses that we're doing those demand up or demand downs. And every time there's a, a differentiation of, uh, you know, an IP address, it would increment it or something like that. It would parse and detect it that map with, in that way. You know, they'd create a utility or a graph on their end. So then maybe they would create a tool for Heroku or even let's say somewhere else on the internet. So people would be like, if you use Frugal, you can use this plugin, you know, and then it would just like, do extra things that I didn't add to it, but would be, you know, just from their demand ups or demand downs and, you know, that type of thing. So, you know how, um, yeah, some, some database entry um, utilities on the internet are not completely open to the general public completely, but eventually people do sometimes write third-party plugins for networks like that, that can grab the data off of them and stuff, you know? So there's nothing too sensitive that is implied to be entered into those um, search engines or things like that, you know? It's not, on my, the, the web app I created, I'm not asking for anything highly sensitive. I don't even ask for a password for people to enter. And uh, later on, I was thinking about maybe having a temporary pin number, like a like temporary three digit to four or six digit type random number uh, type uh, lock feature or something like that with a maybe a pen name alias type system eventually on there. I'm not sure how, I haven't really completely um, decided on adding something like that, but it would be something that wouldn't request, it would not ask for someone to enter in, let's say, a, a password that they would create in their head. Whereas the other app I was working on with the friends, <laughs> it was, we created a, um, it was called Champ. He re later wanted to rename it to Champ, but then there is other apps out there called To Do Logs or something like that. But it was just to for me to basically uh, try working with the Angular Mongo database, Node.js, Express, Middleware, 
um, gulp, uh, what was it? <laughs> It's like a the gulp builder, the bower installer type system, so that I would be able to. And I created I created the that app for my friends that he was instructing me, you know, through text and over Skype on what he wanted me to do, pragmatically speaking, and I created it with those. Um, frameworks or tools, Node.js, Express, Middleware, Mongo da Database, Angular um, front end, you know, graphical user interface was the AngularJS. Express, Express is the middleware that interacts with Mongo Database, the data stored in Mongo Database, and also uh, with the Node.js server. Uh, interacting between those other two, uh, the node uh, the Node.js would run uh, the the Express and uh, Mongo database script, you know that type of thing. So that was just for me. To, that was for the Champ uh, app that I have. Uh, basically demoed on YouTube uh, of a YouTube screencast of my friend using it. And then I also have the um, up the, what was the updated uh, version that had all the features that he requested, um, except maybe for the last one that was a bit more advanced. I, I never really got to, but uh The other one, the other video that that I had posted on my um or uploaded to my Google um what was it? Google Photos albums. I, I forget what the section was. Video art. I think that was yeah. I think that's the label for the the area or category where I uploaded that video to. And that was the latest work, way the Champ to do log, or what was to do log that we renamed to Champ uh, app, the way it works. Oh, God. Okay, I'm, you guys, I'm. I just thought it was exciting.